One night when I was five, I heard some noise from downstairs, and I ran down to see Dad tiptoeing out with a suitcase. Dad, are we going somewhere? Good God, you're so annoying. I'm going somewhere, where your bad luck can't follow me anymore. Saying that, he just left and never came back. Dave and I were all by ourselves now, but thankfully our aunt took us in, even though she wasn't so well off herself and worked as a birthday party singer for kids. Once, she took me and Dave with her to a party, and I saw a clown juggling balls. It looked pretty simple, so I picked up some oranges and started copying him. And suddenly, everyone's eyes were on me. Wow, this girl is so talented. She's much better than the clown. Everyone was so impressed that they paid my aunt double for my act. How are you so good at this? I don't know. I've always been able to catch stuff easily with both hands. OMG, I think you're ambidextrous, Lucy. Ambi what now? Turns out I was Ambi whatever Dave said, which meant I could use both my hands equally well and at the same time. I started going with my aunt to birthday parties and I juggled all kinds of stuff to make some extra cash. The kids loved me. Then one day, Dave came home from school with some exciting news. He'd found out that I was eligible for some scholarship program at a school and I could also go. I joined the third grade class and was so excited but I noticed something was wrong the moment I walked into class. The kids were all looking at me and laughing. Ew, look at her clothes. So tacky. Her sneakers have holes. My face turned tomato red as I quickly took a seat. Later at recess, I was eating by myself when I looked up to see a bunch of kids staring at me like I was some circus freak. Why are you eating with both hands like some monkey? Oh, I'm ambidextrous. It's pretty cool. I can do lots of things with both hands, like writing and paint. Oh, I remember now. I saw you at a birthday party once. You're a clown, right? No, I'm a juggler. Do you pick boogers from your nose with both hands too? Why would I? Save it, freak. Do us a favor and cover your mouth with both hands because you're boring me. Well, it looked like I wasn't going to have any friends anytime soon. But school wasn't all bad. The teachers loved me at least because I was one of the smartest kids in class and I could finish any assignment twice as fast as the rest. In the ninth grade, the teacher introduced a new boy, Harvey, to the class and I rolled my eyes as I watched the girls drool over him. So lame. But someone came and sat next to me in the library later that day and to my shock, it was him. Hey, you're in my class, right? Mind if I join you? He sat next to me and two minutes later, he flung his pen aside. What's wrong? Sorry, I can't make any sense of these math problems. I kept flunking at my...